Hello world, it's Lockpicking Dev here. Today I have a Master 575, and it is a 575 that I've turned into a practice lock. So you can see on the side, I drilled this pin out, I tapped it, and I made a bolt that I can stick in there, that way I have a removable way, or a way to remove the core. So now, uh, this is, um, you know, repinnable, rekeyable, but it's useful for anything but real life situations, since we can just remove that bolt now. So let's go ahead and pick this open and show you what's inside. Pin one. Pin five. Pin two. Feels like pin four is moving. We didn't get it set, so let's go back there again. Pin four. and pin five. There we go. There's our open. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get this gutted. So I took a bolt and I cut it with a saw to make a, a, a flathead hole in here that way I can remove it. I'm going to hold the core in as I'm doing this because the second this bolt is far enough out, this core would just fall right out. And since it's picked, so will the plug and all the pins. So that's good enough there. Here we go. And we'll go ahead and remove everything. Here. Go. So that's the entire lock right there. And here's something that we got to do. Um, we need to, so on the back of here, there's a retaining pin right there. Right here in the back of the core. Focus. So right there in the end. What we got to do is get that pin out and then, yeah, right there. And if we get that pin out, we can remove the core. So, uh, this one actually slides out pretty easily. I hit it enough, it usually just falls right out. Maybe not this time. Don't be an asshole. Let's see. So, there we go. See, that one just fell right out. That's the only reason why I have that like that. And I <laughs> just hit it out because I'm not going to gut this too often, to be honest. Um, uh, the best way to do that would be to tap this hole as well and put another nut right there. But since that retaining uh, pin is there, that means on this plug, there is retaining groove going along the back of this plug in the sixth pin hole. So it goes about a quarter way along the core on the six pin hole from here let's see from here to here so if we pull this straight out this hole will be still be aligned with the bible and one of these driver pins will get stuck in the hole where the uh, retaining pin goes so we need to um, avoid that hole so what we can do is turn this even farther now now that we got the uh, pin out or we can turn it all the way to the other side this is far enough to avoid the hole, so I'm just going to do this. I 
Another thing we want to watch out for is our uh, follower not getting caught in the driver. So they will fall in that hole as well. There we go. And that's the hole I was talking about right there in the end. Right there. Just this thing focus. There we go. Well, it's not focusing the best, but yeah, this hole right here, this is the retaining pin. It comes down from the Bible, so it's like that. And then it follows along the groove like this. So that's why the plug can only turn so far. So if it's in like that, it'll stop the plug right there. And then it goes back up right there. Go ahead and get the uh, key pins out. Driver pins. One, two, three, four, five. Bounced around there for there we go. And as you can see, this is what I meant by you might be a little disappointed. These are just all standard pins, whereas opposed to the uh, 570 having spool pins in it. So that's what our pinning is. So let me show you how I uh, did this a little bit more and how to put this back together. All right, I decided to go ahead and pin it up just because it makes things easier. So what we do now. I have my retaining pin in so the core cannot come out. Go, our key is working. So we have our lock completely apart. Shackle in. Ball bearings both in. Now next, here's an important part. Our actuator here, this part at the top has a bigger groove here than the bottom part. I want the bigger groove facing up. So we kind of have to do a balancing act to get our ball and ba ball bearings to stay in there properly. And then take our actuator. Oh. One came out. Yep, sure did. There we go. Now our, actuator, now our actuator is all the way in, so our shackle cannot come out. Uh, don't pull it though because it is loose, so you, it will come out. I'm just saying it is, it's in there now. So next we want to put our core in. When we put our core in, you can see that the tailpiece is not correctly aligned with the actuator, so we're going to turn the key, and that'll make the uh, both of them align and the core fully go in. So we have that. But now our core can still come out because we don't have this retaining pin in. So what I did with this is I made a bolt. I cut the top off. I sawed it. I sawed a hole in it. That way a flathead screwdriver would fit in there. And I also rounded off the tip here. That way it would fit down in there a little bit better into the groove without grinding on stuff. So it'd be nice and smooth. And then you take a tap and tap this right there. That way your bolt, bolt fits right in. And there we go. See? All back together. Good to go. And that is a 575. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.